Hey everyone, we're gonna do a video this morning of FSD 12.2.1. Taking my son to high school. That was interesting already a little bit because there's a car in front of us. Slow down. A little bit jerky, but it's an interesting start. This isn't a super long drive. Just rained here in the morning, but it's now sunny again in Southern California. Let's see how it does on this stop here. It's a pretty blind stop on the right side. And it was jerky last time. Stop before the and now we're jerking. It's the same behavior as yesterday. Did a commit, but it's a little bit irritating. Human would have done it faster. It's um likes to hug this right side. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's very bumpy with uh, tree roots. Now these aren't speed bumps, but it hits them a little fast and as a human, I would go closer to the middle of the lane, but I'm pretty sure FSD is not going to be able to solve for that. Okay, we're entering the left turn lane, but from pretty far from the right side. Seatbelt on in the back there, please. I can't come on that hand. Here it's kind of in the middle of the lane, but no one really around. Just committed to the right hand lane. Thank you to my son in the back for putting his seatbelt on. Didn't notice that just now because he's doing the filming. So we're a little bit earlier than the ru the rush crowd uh, for school, which is good because um, there's a big backup uh, at least uh, three blocks on this particular school, and it, it would be pretty hard for FSD to get through it all. Um, and make a left turn way up ahead, but um, maybe in another video we'll try it. This it should be relatively easier just because of lighter traffic. So th that's the uh, intersection that I'm talking about that is a problem most days. Most of the time it's red all the way back here and you got, it has to get into a, uh, a pretty big queue to get in the left lane. behind these cars which is fine I, as a human I would go into the to a more left lane to avoid um, people getting on the freeway uh, and then get over but it's fine staying in this lane maybe avoid a merge issue that I had yesterday where I had a disengagement So far, so good. No, no disengagements. Probably can't see in the video, but that the left lanes are pretty clear, and then these lanes are backs up to go into the freeway exit number one, freeway exit number two. So I tend to like to go around these, but. Um, you know these these exits uh, and then merge over but I'm just gonna let FSD do his thing mm -hmm. 
also earlier in the video I didn't notice um, this kind of weird speed behavior I think that's been fine so far um, the weird speed behavior is kind of where it went too slow in the neighborhood and then went too fast um, just for reference I, I have a percent offset um, I haven't changed it to automatic speed set speed offset yet I'm just uh, using the previous settings with my percent based offset which it's worked well in the past it's not working so well with FST 12 it's a little, a little bit too slow and a little bit too fast at times so you might see on the right here that there's some some of this other lane gonna get on the freeway in this lane that we're in it's a little more backed up compared to the other two lanes but here we go green light there was a car that was in a right turn only lane but decided to merge back and FSD handled it fine okay this is I'm trying to figure out whether to stay in this lane or go another one stay in the lane um, upcoming uh, I expect it to make this right fine. It's interesting at this light is uh, where I had a disengagement yesterday where it pulled into this early left turn lane instead of uh, you know staying in the correct lane to go straight and then into the other left turn lane. So we'll see what it does today upcoming. Okay, that's fine getting into this lane. This other guy's a little bit late to decide, but it's going to let him. So that was good behavior. So coming up is, if there was heavy traffic, FSD would have to get fast into the far left turn lane, but today it does have a chance to decide, and it's moving one lane, it's moving the second lane, and we'll see if, if it gets into the wrong turn lane here, there's will see the left, and a lot of times in the past, okay, there it goes, I was thinking about it. Um, uh, went for it for a second and then it corrected itself so I don't I think so far it's not gonna make the disengagement mistake I had yesterday um, okay just got a alert for all of a sudden that the front camera is blocked or blinded it must be because of the Sun straight ahead that's interesting um, I, apparently that's what this icon is for I'm guessing I don't remember seeing that. It doesn't seem to be part of the stoplight. Thanks for filming in the back there. So we're gonna have to get into a left turn lane and wait. This is doing a fine job. Oh, okay. Gotta get over. Either of these lanes. Oh, it's kind of jogging back and forth trying to figure out which one. And I think at this point it's going to be a zero disengagement. Um, I will mainly disengage to do a drop off earlier than the exact destination. But other than that, um, yeah, I think it was fine. Um, the the mistakes that were there yesterday with resulting in three disengagements um, didn't happen today so uh, we'll try for another video um, or try the return route and see how FSD 12 does um, yeah I think this intersection that we're in is will be quite interesting in the future if you would in rush hour because this whole thing is red back to here so it has to 
you know, get into the right turn lane and be very patient way, way, way back here to, um, in order to, you know, not cut the cars off and it has to immediately get over into the left turn lane there um, to do the right thing. So, there we are, making the turn. I'm going to engage manually and get over. 